welcome everyone to a very special event in our series of in-store events. Today we have Chef Sam Talbot here. You may know him from season two of Top Chef. You may know him from his restaurant down at the Mondrian Hotel, Imperial Number no. 9. So we're very happy to have him here to, to demonstrate how to make an eco-friendly lunch using some of our containers um, and products, especially the products that we've partnered with, uh, feed projects. Thank you very much, and here's Chef Sam Talbot. Thank you. Yeah. Hi guys, how is everybody? Hi. Welcome to Pottery Barn. Um, as Mitch said, I'm Chef Sam Talbot. And today, I'm gonna to demo three recipes from my book. Um, so they're, you know, it's a, they're healthy recipes and then we're gonna be showcasing them in the, in the wonderful feed product. Kind of the idea is to go through, cook the recipes and then present them in these bowls. And um, you know, it's, a, it's an eco-friendly lunch, with an eco-friendly bowl, makes sense, right? Cool. So the lettuce wedge with avocado and tortilla vinaigrette. These baby icebergs are a little bit more concentrated, uh, a little higher in flavor, and they're cute, right? <laughs> At the end of the day. So we use these in the restaurant all the time. Basically all you do is just um, cut the bottoms off right there, and just like you do with your regular lettuce, you just kind of peel off that outer layer, um, any sort of dirt or anything that got in there. Another great trick that we do at Imperial, these have been sitting in ice water literally for like three hours. You order it and then the cook shakes it off and by the time it gets to the table, it's just like crunchy and you, know, you can see the little water crystals. That's how you should eat lettuce. So a little bit of roasted garlic oil. This is the uh, red onion coriander seed, the one that I sauteed with the jalapeno. Um, two limes, zested and juiced. Here's a lime zest, you just take a microplane, zest it right out the top. The other thing is, a lot of guys, when it, or a lot of people, when they zest limes, they're not really, you just kind of do it, you don't pay attention. You really need to pay attention when you're zesting something. Um, if you don't, you can get to the pith, and the pith ruins your final product in seconds. It just makes everything taste bitter. So, you know, sometimes I'll, when I'm watching people cook, the a cook will be sitting there with a the lemon, and they're just going like this, zesting, and like, you can't do that. As soon as you hit the white, whatever, whatever, whatever it's falling to is done. So you can ruin an entire vinaigrette, an entire batch of whatever. So that's something to keep in mind that it's, you, know, you have to do it in a little bit of, um, Pay attention. I didn't mean to yell at you guys so early in the morning. <laughs> Pay attention when you zest your limes. Um, so a little bit of lime zest. Some fresh lime juice. A little bit of uh, low-fat yogurt. I use Greek strained yogurt. You guys ever use that stuff? It's amazing. Um, so this is a, a brand called Fage that we use at the restaurant. So it's just Greek strained yogurt. It's a little bit of cilantro. Touch of red wine vinegar. Just for a little zing. Usually, um, I'm a seafood guy. So, you know, what, obviously a, the, one of the natural pairings with fresh seafood is lemon. And the reason why is because, you know, seafood tends to be mild and then you have this nice citric acid burst from the lemon. So I always, I'm always using citrus. I'm always using red wine vinegar. And another reason why is that you can help lower your salt intake. The more citrus, the more fresh herbs you use because it offers flavor. And that's what salt does too, right? So if you can omit the salt and then by adding the fresh ingredients, it makes it healthy. And then two diced avocados. So same thing. So we're just gonna cube it like this. Toss it right into the bowl. So we're gonna mix this stuff up. And then basically all we're doing here is just making a nice chunky, can you see in there? So that's what you're looking for, a nice little pool of olive oil on the top there, just to have a nice sheen and um, make it a little bit sweeter. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna take our lettuce wedge here. It's really great about these. All you do is just kinda, and you have a nice little cup like that. And then if you were to do the fresh tortilla, you would just cut them into strips and sort of break them up with your hands, just nice little shards and um, just to offer texture and a little bit of, you know, that like, um, a crunch to your vinaigrette. So here we're just gonna take, just like that. And then you have the beginnings of a really good sort of, this again, this was, this was inspired just off of really like killer taco salad, right? But done with a little bit of a uh, little finesse. And then whenever there's lime in a recipe, I just always like to finish it with just a, oops. With just a fresh squeeze at the end. Just 
just give it a bit more zing. Let's do this. So you guys can see it. There it is.